ever wondered why your gums bleed during simple things like flossing or uh, brushing? Or what is this yellowish sticky thing that really forms near the gums? And what happens when you get a dental cleaning and why is it important? My name is Dr. Mo and I'm a dentist. Let's go over, go over to this picture and I'll explain to you what's really happening to a large degree. So if you look at the picture above, we have a person with a relatively uh, decent teeth, so to speak. But our focus today is on the gums, gum inflammation, and the dental tartar, teeth tartar, that is on there. So if you look at the regions near the gum line, you're going to see these yellowish uh, spots that are stained and um really having the gums uh, looking inflamed near them. And I'll explain what does uh, inflamed gums mean in a bit. So that is predominantly called uh, dental tartar. And basically, it starts as something called as dental uh, plaque. That dental plaque over time hardens uh, to become dental tartar. Now, what is the problem with this? Okay, so I can just go to the dentist anytime and get them clean. So what? Not a big deal. Well, that is not true because I'll explain what's happening underneath really those uh, gums, okay? While it is true uh, that these uh, uh, can be cleaned at the dentist through uh, regular uh, dental checkups and cleanings, which uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's a normal and regular thing to do, um, it's really important to not ignore them for a long period of time and here's why so as you can see the gums do uh, enlarge a bit and they start to get swollen to a certain degree and in, when i say enlarge i mean in appearance and they start to get a bit reddish these are basically uh, certain signs of uh, gum inflammation also uh, bleeding during flossing or even just brushing can have many reasons, but one of the uh, reasons could be uh, poor uh, uh, gum and gingival health and poor uh, oral health. And although the teeth may look decent, like even if you look at the upper uh, teeth, you can see there's also like some, I mean, if you look closely, of course, they have a dense eye, but you can see there's some like plaque and calculus over there. They don't really look clean to me, even for an untrained eye that look more. Now let's look at the uh, after picture in this case and look at how the gums really relaxed, they look healthy, they look uh, more normal, so to speak, uh, and they're not as, uh, as swollen, they're much less red, they're more into the pinkish region uh, in, in color and uh, appearance. Uh, but what's really happening behind the curtain, which is what I'm going to get to in the uh, next slide. Now, when you look at the healthy tooth and the healthy uh, gingival structures or healthy structure of the gingiva, and this is the bone that's supporting the tooth. And we have uh, this, uh, this is the root and we have the orifice as to which the neurovascular structures, uh, the nerves, blood supply, etc., goes uh, into the tooth. And you're going to have the pulp here, right? Uh, and uh, the two roots uh, underneath it. Now let's talk about things with regard to the periodontal uh, structures as in the gums supporting bone, etc. Uh, now, when, the gum, when you get plaque in dental calculus and you ignore it for a period of time, the first of all, that uh, plaque first forms uh, and then it turns gradually into a dental tartar, which is harder, more sticky, uh, will need professional cleaning. Uh, so, unfortunately, the uh, gums tend to become reddish um, and uh, inflamed, okay? And, now, and also, that may also contribute to gum recession as well, where the gums are moving away from the tooth and uh, receding to a certain degree, okay? Uh, additionally, you can see the level of bone here and the level of bone in the situation of periodontitis, okay? So, and uh, there is a reduced level uh, of bone. So, that also can get into um, the bone structures, not only limited uh, to the gums. Something may start as simple as something called as gingivitis, if you heard the term, right? Inflammation of the gums into something more advanced that's called periodontitis where the uh, gum is uh, the where the bone is uh, largely uh, involved okay and there's something called as a periodontal pocket that forms and that periodontal pocket can be checked using something called as a periodontal uh, probe okay so all these things are really important um 
I'm trying to reduce uh, the technical or scientific uh, terms uh, as much as uh, possible, but uh, all these things are really important to be taken into a consideration. Okay, and we even have bone in between certain teeth that are multi rooted, meaning having more than one tooth. Um, and that uh, uh, bone loss uh, can be really serious because as it advances a lot, person may lose that tooth and that tooth may become uh, mobile and lose. And at some point, uh, the patient fortunately may lose that tooth. Now, what happens when we uh, approach that dental cuts and dental tartar uh, much earlier is that we get hopefully healthier gums and you need to check the probing of course after a certain period uh, of time. Uh, like the video, it really helps the video to get pushed and if you're not subscribed, subscribe.